Hello everybody and welcome to your 7th VBA 2010 tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to go into uh, a bit more into variables and also um, further into numerical operators. So the first thing I'm going to show you is another variable type. So if I've used an integer which stores a whole number um, with no decimal places, um, but quite often you want to store a number with decimal places instead. So the way to do this, instead of writing as integer, just put as double. And then this is just going to allow you to to input your to to use numbers with multiple with more than one decimal place. So we're going to take advantage of this now. What we're going to do is we're going to put instead of having num one plus num two, num one divided by num two, and then put press play. I'm going to show you what happens. So let's put in five as our first number, two as our second number, and then notice now we've got it coming out as two point five. Now if we had this as an integer as we had it before, and we tried doing this, press play five, two then it's only going to come out with 2, it's going to floor it off um, and it's not going to give us the number that we want um, so that's why we put this as a double what you'll also need, so for these, for these numbers here as well they're going to take an input of a number if we want to be able to input a number with decimal points in here then we can't have this one as an integer either because it's going to assign the number there and go, oh this is an integer and convert it for us. So let's say we want to do 2.5 divided by 2. It's going to come out with 1 because it's going to run the 2.5 down to, down to 2. Um, so in order to do this, we need to put a double in here and another double in here and press play. And then if we put in 2.5 divided by 2. And then that's going to give us 1.25, which is the answer we want. Is uh, you can also, as well as divide, just to quickly show you times um, using the the, the times uh, key or, or the little star. Um, so if I just show you this, press play 3.25 times 5.67, and then you've got yourself a little calculator. And so some of you might be thinking, well. Why Why would you even bother putting an integer in? Why would you not just use a double uh, and and put your... Uh, use a double and just save yourself time? Um, well, th there's quite a few times when you'd want it to floor off your, your number. Um, but also, uh, a double takes up more memory. So if, if you're looking to make your programs run quicker, um, then doubles will run a lot faster, um, especially on slower computers. Um, but to be honest, most of the programs you're going to make aren't really going to notice that. The other thing I want to show you is just the order of the operations within your declaration. So this here at the moment um, equals always goes last, so the assignment operator is always going to go last. So whatever's on the right hand side of the assignment operator it's going to get put onto the left hand side of the assignment operator. Um, within this section here it's always going to take the same rules as normal mathematics so uh, for those that, that uh, haven't heard of this, so BODMAS so what this means is brackets over Division, multiplication, uh, addition, subtraction. Um, so all this means is anything in brackets gets done first. Then it's followed by anything that has a, a division, then a multiplication, then any additions, and then any subtraction. subtraction. So if we had minus 5 at the end here, then it's going to do our brackets first, we've got no brackets it's then going to do our multiplications and divisions so we've got our multiplication here, so it will times these two numbers together uh, and it will then subtract 5 afterwards because that comes last so this is going to make quite a big difference, so let's say um, 
the order of this. So num1 is 4, num2 is 5, um, and so 4 times 5 is 20, minus 5 is 15. Whereas if you did this bit first and did 5 minus 5, that's going to be 0. Times it by uh, 4, that's going to be 0 as well. Um, so um, that's why it's important that you get those in the right order. Um, generally, I find the easiest thing to do uh, is just to put them in brackets, are you sure? So however you want to do it. Um, so let's say you want those to go first, then stick them in brackets. Everyone knows, no one's going to get confused. Even even if you know it yourself, do it for other people, um, and you'll never make any mistakes. So um, my tip is more not brackets over uh, division, multiplication, add, add and addition and subtraction, just brackets over everything. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. Um, hope to catch you in future tutorials, uh, and in the next one we're going to be going into strings.